Same thing with a Facebook ad. Remember back in the day, well back in the day for me is when I first entered the publishing business, which was in 1998 and authors were being signed by one of the New York finest publishing houses and you just pictured them sitting in that conference room signing that publishing contract and next thing you know, they're planning that 15 city book tour. Okay, well, now, almost 20 years later, those babies are kind of overrated. But you know what you can do in lieu of that 15 city book tour across the map? Start in your own backyard, litter your town. You could have a book signing every weekend in your town. Decide how, how far you wanna drive out. For example, if you're like me, you're in Columbus, Ohio, say, hey, I'm willing to drive two hours to Cleveland. I'm willing to drive two hours to Cincinnati, two hours to Akron, two hours to Toledo, Mansfield. Litter your town, litter your city. Just get yourself out there. It doesn't have to be that 15 city book tour across the map, East Coast, West Coast, South, Midwest, what have you. Litter your own town. Set up signings at not just bookstores, coffee shops, gift shops, libraries, of course, authors, libraries are your friend. You know what just makes my skin crawl? When I hear an author upset about readers checking their books out at the library, well, it's free. They're not buying it. The library didn't get your book for free. The library purchased your book. The library put your book in front of someone who may otherwise not have spent a dime on you. But because they were able to kind of test drive your book at the library, you've got a fan for life. And now they don't mind dropping $14.95 for the other tens of books or whatever you're going to put out. And the libraries buy your book. Just think, if every library in the U.S., every branch owned one copy of your book. Remember the Verizon guy who I think is with Sprint now says, you hear me now? You hear me now? For all of you who are downing people checking your book out at the library, you have no idea of the fan base that can create. But nonetheless, let me get back where I'm going. See, now you know why during the episodes, I have my agenda I can follow, that I do follow. I can go off on some tangents. It's just because I'm so passionate about this. And I want authors to know their book is their business. And if you've ever worked outside of the home, because you're an entrepreneur, if you've written a book, I don't care if it's traditionally published, a POD, Vanity Press, self-published, you are in the book business. You are an entrepreneur. That book is your business. And the same way when you worked outside of the home, if you still work outside of the home, you went and you clocked in and you gave someone eight hours a day toward their business, and you won't even say, hey, I'm going to give mine an hour. I'm going to wake up an hour earlier than when I have to go punch in the clock. And I'm going to invest time in my business or you know what, I'm going to stay up an hour later and I'm going to invest time in my business, my book business. You've got to move if you want your book to move. If you want your book business to move, you have to move. Okay, bring it back, Joy. <laughs> okay, oh, another thing, another thing. Stop always searching for events to go set up shop. I know authors, because I used to be one of them, who would spend hours looking up events that I could go to and pay these vending fees and set up book and set up shop and sell, sell, sell. And that's a good thing. You, you wanna be very particular about where you go then, but there's other ways. There's other ways. You don't always have to go searching for events, especially when you can create your own. You know, my company that I started when I first start self-publishing my books, it's called End of the Rainbow Projects. And I came up with End of the Rainbow Projects because we have this aphorism. Well, I have this aphorism that I've created and it's how long will we continue to wait at the end of the rainbow before realizing that we, in fact, are the pot of gold. 
You are the goal. And here's another thing. Stop waiting to be invited as a panelist or an instructor somewhere. Create your own event. You be on the, you be on the panel or you moderate the panel. If, if you say, hey, I've only been in this business six months. I've only been in this business a year. I don't really know too much. Then find people who do know more than you. Put them on the panel. You can moderate. You can learn while your audience is learning. Stop waiting around for someone to validate you. You got in this business. You created this book. What good is the book if all you're going to do is hide behind it? Get in front of it. Stand out there and show the world. Make yourself an expert. Not just make yourself an expert. You, you, you definitely have to study and, and you have to research and you have to earn that title as an expert with your studying and with your research. So I guess the word I should say is position yourself as an expert. You see where I've got this book and this notes, I'm taking courses, I'm taking webinars, I'm on conference calls, I, I hire consultants. I am positioning myself to be an expert in this industry. I want to be an authority in this industry, a trusted expert and a trusted authority. I have my path to publishing in which we focus on the entire publishing process. Come here, let me show you something real quick. When I'm teaching Path to Publishing, I turn wherever I'm at into a Path to Publishing atmosphere. I invested in this. Yeah, it's just a rug. It's just a rug. I think I got it off of, of, of Groupon. It was one of those photos rugs. And I know when we see the word, ooh, photo rug, photo mug, or photo placemat, we think of, you know, our, our baby, our, our, our kids' baby pictures and things like that. I think in business. Yeah, I have some mugs and blankets with the kids' pictures on them and all that, but I start thinking business. I act like an author, but I think like a business. So I like to transform the room where I'm creating an event and I'm a panelist and I'm an instructor or I'm a moderator and I turn that atmosphere. If you're meeting people at the library, if you're meeting people in a hotel room, roll the little rug out. Come on back over here. Photo placemats, okay, you can get one with your baby's photo on it and you could get one with your business on it. When I meet with people and we set up shop and they grab pen and paper, I pass this to them and they set this on their desk. Coasters, photo coasters. It doesn't have to be your baby snaggle to first grade picture. Think business, think business. Mugs, when I sit down and have coffee with my clients. And then, of course, the banner. Change the atmosphere of wherever you're at. Invest, invest, invest. Okay, I'm going to calm down now. So I've already covered position, position yourself as an expert. Stop waiting to become a famous author. And make authors famous. Yeah, how about you make us famous by simply being one? Carry yourself like a star. Have confidence when you enter the room. I don't care if you're on a panel with people who have been in this business for 20 years, like myself, pretty almost 20 years. You have something to offer. Your intellectual property is priceless. So you walk in that room already thinking, I'm an expert in this area. I'm going to make authors famous. I am an authority. I have confidence. I have many, and I've had many literary consulting clients over the year. You know what? The ones with the most confidence, they make more money. It just goes back to why bother writing the book if all you're going to do is hide behind it. You have to give that book just like you have to give your literary dreams, goals, visions. You have to give them legs. You have to give them hands, arms, feet. They have to come alive and move. And you have to move them. So, to take this thing full circle, if your book is not moving, maybe it's because you're not moving.
And if you are, perhaps you're simply moving in the wrong direction. But that's why I'm here. Joylyn Rawls, host of Act Like an Author, Think Like a Business. Keep tuning in to both the episodes and the quick vips, and hopefully I'll get you moving. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you.